Hey guys, Vazu here. Welcome back to Memento Mori 2. Alright, why don't we go back to the gallery. Now that we have that fingerprinting kit. We can finally look for fingerprints on that uh, window. The broken window. Oh, it used to be a broken window. I believe there are also names inside the case. Names of two workers working there um, around the time, I see. Close case containing all that's needed to take fingerprints. So, how do I open this? Uh, can I open it? Huh. Maybe use the whole case on the window? This way, without the bars, the window has no obstacle to the thief. Yep. I have here a fingerprint kit from our friend Namusa. What about you? Have you found anything? There's a blood stain on the window. I think we're heading in the right direction. Great, so we'll look for those prints. Basic instructions for using the kit. Okay, so instruction for using the Dactyloscopy kit. Use the brush contained in this kit to take a small amount of Nihindrin from the vial. Softly move the brush across the surface where you expect to find some fingerprints. If fingerprints are revealed, slide the foil carefully off the storage strip. Press the strip softly by its adhesive side to the fingerprint and then carefully remove it. Return the foil back to the strip to protect the acquired fingerprint. If you compare fingerprints on the spot, remember that two fingerprints are only considered the same when about 10 common markers. Specific formations disturbing the regularity of papillary ridges have been identified. In the event of partial prints, it's possible as a last resort. To declare two prints the same if three or four markers are common to them. Hmm. Alright, so there's a small brush. The kit also contains a soft brush. A uh, container with ninhydrin. Ninhydrin. That's the powder which sticks to the surface of fingerprints. Alright, and this is adhesive. There's also some glue. It's no common fast glue, but something special. I don't have any idea what it is used for. Yeah. And here are the sticky tape. These sticky tapes are used for storing fingerprints revealed by use of an anhydrin powder. Okay, so I use the brush. This brush is used to deposit anhydrin on place where fingerprints may be. So if an... If at any puzzle you are unsure about how it is controlled, you can display specific help tabs by clicking the question mark located at the bottom right corner of the screen. You will always be told when you have completed the puzzle successfully. If you are not, there is still something left to do or change. Oh. Aha, there we go. This is ninhydrin, a powder that adheres to fingerprints. I think it somehow reacts with residues left by human skin. And now the brush. Aha, there we go. And then hydrin is spooned on a brush. So I'm supposed to slowly swipe across the frame. Alright, let's start from here. Oh, you said something there. Uh, nope. <laughs> There's no powder on the brush. I won't see any fingerprints without it. Hmm. Oh, there's one. See? Someone got caught at the frame here. Should I continue before I um, use those sticky tape? There's no powder on the brush. I won't see any fingerprints without it. Okay, let's just use the tape now. Oh, I cannot. Huh. 
Oh, a fingerprint. It looks a bit damaged, but it's better than nothing. Another one. Okay, how about a vertical panel here? Oh, another see? one. It's easier than I expected. There's so many fingerprints here. There's no powder on the brush. I won't see any fingerprints without it. How did the police miss all of these prints? Oh, there See? we go. It's easier than I expected. <laughs> okay, what about this um this slab here below? Oh, I cannot do that. Okay, I think that is it. Four fingerprints. There's no powder on the brush. I won't see any fingerprints without it. How do I put the brush back? Uh, There's no powder on the brush. I know. I won't see any fingerprints without it. Oh, there we go. Just right click. So now the sticky tape. It's weird that in the era of all these scanners, fingerprints are still acquired in such a primitive way. Anyway, it works and that's what matters. Okay, that's one. I just need to press down the sticky tape a little, and another fingerprint is ready. It's two. The powder sticks on the sticky surface, and we have a fingerprint. Three. And the last one. The powder sticks on the sticky surface, and we have a fingerprint. Aha. Uh -huh. So... Do I examine them now? I've lifted this fingerprint from the window frame. What should I do with that? I won't find out anything this way. Maybe if I could compare it with something. Compare it with... This, the partial fingerprint found on the case. So we have a print. What else? Well, now we should mail it to a lab. Can't we just compare it to those records that we have right here? Yeah. It's actually not that easy. But we can try, right? You can send it for expert analysis as well. Okay, let's have a look at it. All right, so, um, okay, what am I doing here? What are this? Oh, these are the four prints that I took? It looks so weird. Okay, culprit markers, three out of eight. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's take a look. So select a pair of fingerprints that you want to compare, then with a mouse click mark in place on each of them that you consider to be identical, alright? So, that's not identical. Nope. Oh, this one. Wait, hold on. Yep. I see it right here. There's the same dislocation on both fingerprints. It looks promising. Um, right there. Uh, this one. So it's a match? Yep. Those fingerprints match. However, they don't belong to the culprit. Okay, so I'm... Oh, this one is the culprit one. Okay, I see. Um, nope. How about this? Yes, I see it. This one. Here is another one. And this. Aha! Uh -huh. Not the culprit. Those fingerprints match. However, since they don't belong to the culprit, they aren't interesting to us. Okay, now this one. Um... Okay, this one looks like the culprit. Yep, that's one. Here is two. And here is three. Yep, this one is it. 
I'll merge these two partial fingerprints and their markers into one. It will be easier to work with. Uh, oh yeah, I need eight markers here. So, uh, now this one? Nope. Oh, compared with the combined one to um, maybe have a sum of eight markers. Yeah, it is too much, but the orientation is a little bit different. Hmm. Yeah, that should be a Y over here. But there isn't one. It's not the same. And an X? Nope. How about this one? And I need something else here in between. This why there's no Y here. Or is it this? Those don't match. Nope. The dislocations are different. Nah, it's not the same one. the right hand uh, nope none of these matches here uh, wait hold on how about this one Similar location, you know? And I need something else over here in the middle. Oh! Is this the one? Oh, there it is. Hmm. The fingerprints are identical. It's a pity they don't belong to the culprit. So, I only have four markers for the culprit. That is not enough. So are there more prints on the windowsill? Maybe. Maybe I missed some. There's no powder on the brush. I won't see any fingerprints without. Okay, let's see. Oh, what? See? It's easier than I expected. There's another one. This is a new one. See? Someone got caught at the frame here. Right. There probably isn't more of them here. How did I miss this too in the first round? Huh. The powder sticks on the sticky surface, and we have a fingerprint. It's weird that in the era of all these scanners, fingerprints are still acquired in such a primitive way. Anyway, it works, and that's what matters. All the prints are documented. I can't do anything else here. Okay, so, the last two, let's match it with the culprit. Um, here's one. Here is two. I need four more markers. Okay, I'm getting close. Okay, how about this? The Y. I don't think this is the right one, is it? need another marker. Um, how about this? Nope, it's too far away. Mm, let me take a look at the other one. This one. Oh wow, this one looks like a match. Right there. 
and this. Yep. I think that fingerprint is shaping up quite nicely. Okay, now this one. I need uh, three more markers. Okay. But uh, where's the last one? I can't find the last one. Oh, this! Ah, there we go. A complete fingerprint. We got it. So, this print, that's something, isn't it? To tell you the truth, you've surprised me a lot. Don't you want to do this as a career? To spend whole days hunched over a microscope and earn less money than now? Yeah, that sounds very promising. I thought so. Someone has to put that print through the database anyway. We can scan it somewhere and mail it. What are you staring at? Should I go to her again? I think she'll be much more receptive to you than to me. And she ate that box of chocolates we were to share, so... So let her try. Right,